If you're a business owner that's struggling to come up with ideas for Instagram to keep your content fresh and exciting and engaging for your community, then keep watching this video because I'll be sharing 10 simple content ideas for business. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist and I help small business owners just like you build their brands online. So in this video, I wanted to keep it short and sweet and get straight into the content and share these 10 ideas with you. I share some examples as well from my own personal Instagram account, but also from other accounts as well, because these ideas are stuff that's going around, but having them all in one place in this curated list just for you is going to help you to build your Instagram strategy so you can get more engagement from your posts, reels, stories, and any other content that you're creating on the platform. So you're getting bigger bang for your buck and you're not just on this constant content hamster wheel for no damn reason. I know you've been feeling frustrated that your posts aren't getting seen, that nobody's engaging, liking, commenting, sharing, and so on, but there's an answer. Refresh your content. All right, let's dive into these 10 ideas. Number one is to share some B-roll with some thoughts and ideas in text. So what I mean by B-roll is that it's some footage that you are just filming. It's not you talking to camera like this. So it's just some sort of moving image, whether that's you doing something or literally just zooming into a product or showing some sort of landscape. Now, this is a crazily simple idea and it doesn't require any design or any real creative tricks or hacks or anything like that. But this was one of my highest viewed reels ever and it's insane. Like it was the easiest thing I could have ever posted. Number two is B-roll with the audio written out. So what I mean by this is again, use some B-roll, some content where you're not talking to camera and have a audio over the top and then write out that audio on the screen. So the text appears when you were saying whatever you're saying. So this one worked really well for me. I shared a few different clips of B-roll and then I added an audio and I wrote out five to eight words at a time and synced them up with where my audio is at. You can check out the link below to get a really good idea of this so you can actually hear the audio as well, but this is an example of what I did. Number three is to post a static quote. So this might seem like a real old school idea, but the thing is not many people are posting quotes anymore. Back in the day when Instagram was first a thing, everyone was posting quotes. Everyone was posting these grids where you'd have image, quote, image, quote, and so on. But now that's not so much of a thing. So when a quote lands in your feed, you're gonna be more likely to pay attention to it. Make it graphic, make it exciting, and I promise you this is gonna be a total no-brainer. Number four is to still leverage this idea of sharing a quote, but have a moving background. So this could literally be some B-roll that you've filmed of some landscape or something in your house or whatever it is, or it could be some stock footage. So I use Canva to find stock footage for reels for this purpose. Number five is a carousel with tips. So carousels are still performing really well. So a carousel is where you have multiple images in a single post and requires people to swipe. So what works really well is having some sort of graphic image and then including your tips as your content or ideas or strategies or thoughts on whatever it is that you're talking about. So you wanna make sure each of these images has a consistent branding, but you can find a whole lot of templates online. I found some really awesome ones on Creative Market and Etsy. So have a look at those if you need a little bit more inspo. Number six is an even easier option. Create a carousel with images. So say you've got a new product that you've just released, have a few images of that product and add them as a carousel. Or you could even have a little update on what you've been doing on the weekend or something exciting that's happening in your business where you can show a few of those images all in one go. I mean, you could keep this simple and just do two or three, or you could do five or six. It's really up to you. Number seven is talking to camera. So like what I'm doing now, you could literally just talk to your people. So similar to what you would do maybe in a story where you're talking to your community about something that's happening in your business or some sort of value where you can add some sort of transformation into your followers' lives. So to make this even easier, you could record a story, download it, and then add it as a post either straight away or at a different time. I like to do this at a different time, so then it's not a double up of the exact same messaging, but 
whatever works for you. Just remember people consume content differently. So just because you've posted it on stories doesn't mean you can't share it in your posts because at the end of the day, not all your content gets seen by all your followers. So you'll want to repurpose it where you can so you can get better bang for your buck. Number eight is a meme. So memes are a really great way to add personality and get a bit of cut through in the content space as well. So I like to use either images from popular TV shows or things that are happening in pop culture Culture, so maybe relationships between certain celebrities or there may have been a Met Ball or whatever it is. Use that image and make it relatable to my content. Alternatively, number nine is to add an animated GIF. So similar to the meme idea, adds this personality to whatever it is that you're trying to convey but you can go to giphy.com and save one of these GIFs and then add it into your post, upload it as a video, and there you go, you've made some really easy video content. And number 10 is an animated reel. So this doesn't require your face, you can literally create this in Canva. I've done this for events before and it's worked quite well. It does take a little bit of time to create with all the animations and everything, but if you're wanting to create something super branded and super specky, then this is the way to do it. Okay, so I hope you love these 10 ideas and that you can implement them in your Instagram strategy and really take advantage of all the different ways you could be creating content. So don't feel like you always have to be following whatever the trends are. You can mix and match and add some of these ideas into what you're already doing or maybe even try and repurpose stuff that you've already done into one of these ideas. So that way you're getting bigger bang for your buck and your content is getting further. But if you're struggling to figure out what exactly you should be adding to your post, what is the thing you should be talking about in your post, then this video is gonna help you. You can figure out what your brand story is and use these 10 strategies to develop an understanding of how you can be better connecting with your audience on Instagram so you can leverage that relationship and turn it into sales. So I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe because I release videos regularly all about digital marketing strategy for small business. So that's it for me for today. Until next time, bye for now.